NASA is considering sending swimming robots to habitable ocean worlds of the solar system. Now, the images we have here have to do with the Jupiter Moon Europa and the cross sections of the outer zone of Europa South Pole region showing plumes, the fractured ice shell, the liquid water ocean, and uh, based on hydrothermal plumes of the rocky interior. This is by David Rothery, professor of planetary geoscience, Open University, on the conversation. NASA has recently announced a $600,000 funding for study into the feasibility of sending swarms of miniature swimming robots, known as independent micro swimmers, to explore oceans beneath the icy shells of our solar system's many ocean worlds, but don't imagine metal humanoid swimming frog-like underwater. They will probably be simple triangular wedges. Pluto is one example of a likely ocean world, but the worlds with oceans nearest to the surface, making them the most accessible, are Europa, the moon of Jupiter, and Angelavis, the moon of Saturn. Life inside ocean worlds? These oceans are of interest to scientists not just because they contain so much liquid water. Europa's ocean probably has about twice as much water as the whole of Earth's oceans. But because chemical interactions between rock and the ocean water could support life. In fact, the environment in these oceans may be very similar to that on Earth at the time life began. These are environments where water that has seeped into the rock of the ocean floor becomes hot and chemically enriched, water that is then expelled back into the ocean. Microbes can feed off this chemical energy and can in turn be eaten by larger organisms. No sunlight or atmosphere is actually needed. Many warm, rocky structures of this sort, known as hydrothermal vents, have been documented on Earth's floor since ocean floor since they are, were discovered in 1977. In these locations, the local food web is indeed supported by chemosynthesis, energy from chemical reactions, rather than photosynthesis, energy from sunlight. In most of our solar system's ocean worlds, the energy that heats their rocky interior and prevents the oceans from freezing all the way to the base comes principally from the tides. This is in contrast to the largely radioactive heating of the Earth's interior. But the chemistry of the water-rock interactions is similar. Angelavis Ocean has already been sampled by flying the Cassini spacecraft through plumes of ice crystals that erupt through cracks in the ice. And there are hopes that NASA's Europa Clipper mission may find similar plumes to, sh to sample when it begins a series of close Europa flybys in 2030. However, getting inside the ocean to go exploring would potentially be much more informative than merely sniffing at a freeze-dried freeze -dried example. In the swim, this is where the sensing with independent micro-swimmers swim concept comes. The idea is to land on Europa or Angelavis, which would be neither cheap nor easy, at a place where the ice is relatively thin, not yet located, and use a radioactively heated probe to melt a 25 centimeter wide hole through to the ocean, located hundreds of thousands of meters below. And once there, it would release up to about four dozen 12 centimeter long wedge shaped micro swimmers to go exploring. Their endurance would be much less than that of a 3.6 meter long autonomous underwater vehicle, famously named Boaty McBoatface, with a range of 2,000 kilometers that has already achieved a cruise of more than 100 kilometers be below the Antarctic ice. At this stage, SWIM is merely one of five phase two studies into a range of advanced concepts funded in the 2022 round of NASA's Innovative Advanced Concepts NIAC program. So there are still long odds against SWIM becoming a reality and no complete mission has been scoped out or funded. The microswimmers would communicate with the probe acoustically through sound waves 
and the probe which sent its data via cable to the lander on the surface. The study will trial prototypes in a tank, a test tank with all subsystems integrated. Each micro swimmer could explore maybe only 10 tens of meters away from the probe, limited by their battery power and the range of their acoustic data link. But by acting as a flock, they could map changes in time or location, in temperature and salinity. They may even be able to measure changes in the cloudiness of the water, which could indicate the direction towards the nearest hydrothermal vent. Power limitations of the micro swimmers may mean that none could carry cameras. These would need their own light source or sensors that could specifically sniff out organic molecules. But at this stage, nothing is ruled out. I think finding signs of hydrothermal vents is a, lot sh a long shot. However, the ocean floor would, in fact, after all, be many kilometers below this micro swimmer's release point. But to be fair, pinpointing vents is not ex explicitly suggested in the swim proposal. To locate and examine the vents themselves, we probably do need both McBody's face in space. And that said, swim would be a good start. This is on the conversation by David Rothery. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.